Hey Astro Kids and welcome back and in today's video we'll be talking about Mercury in the 11th house. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So before we start you first want to understand what sign is Mercury positioned in. This is very important to understand because Mercury is a highly adaptable planet. So Mercury will take on the qualities of the sign that he is positioned in. Along with this you want to understand are there any planets conjunct with Mercury as Mercury will adapt to those planets and is Mercury being influenced by any planets that are aspecting onto Mercury as well? Along with this, you want to understand which houses in your chart are ruled over by Gemini and Virgo. Along with this, is your Ascendant Lord compatible with Mercury? It's also important to understand that the most important moment in your life where Mercury will have an influence over you is during your Mercury Mahadasha. So that is when the actual planet of Mercury becomes activated in the chart. So if you have not seen my video on the Mercury Mahadasha Bukhtis, I will leave a link for that above and down below in the description. It's also important to understand that Mercury will develop later on in life towards the age of 32. So Mercury will improve with time. So what does Mercury represent? Mercury is a planet of knowledge, of intelligence. Mercury is our ability to learn, to comprehend, to analyze, to calculate, to organize. It is all about our memory, our dexterity. It is all about our intelligence. So this is a highly clever and rational planet. Mercury is also about our business acumen, our ability to do well in the field of business, to be clever, to be charming, to be adaptable, and it is also about the financial fields as well. Mercury is a planet of travel. It is a planet of movement, of shifting, of change. It is also a planet that is about friendship and our connection with our siblings. Mercury, along with this, rules over all forms of communication and language, including writing ability. So what does the the 11th house represent. The 11th house is the highest house of our desires. It is the last of the comma houses. So this is the house of our hopes and dreams, our greatest wishes in life. And it is about wish fulfillment as well because the 11th house is second from the 10th house of career. So it is our incoming gains. It is all about how we gain through our network circle, through our career. It is all of our opportunities. The 11th house is all about social groups and gatherings, all about our friend circles, our network circles, society at large. It is all about helping and serving in the greater good of humanity. The 11th house also is a house of politics, of things that are happening at a worldly level. And the 11th house is a house that takes us away from liberation because that 12th house is all about our liberation from this material world. But the 11th house is 12th from the 12th house. So it is the loss of that liberation through the material entanglement. So what happens then when Mercury comes into the 11th house? And again, you want to understand the sign that Mercury is placed in and if there are any planets that are with Mercury. This is extremely important to understand. But Mercury immediately is going to do well in this 11th house if it is placed well in your chart because Mercury is all about communication and this 11th house is about networking. So this is a very social position of Mercury. This is going to give you a huge interest in connecting with other people people, in farming network circles, and building opportunities through your relations with others. This is definitely a house of communication, of friendship, of meeting different people. People from all walks of life can be seen through this placement of Mercury in the 11th house. Mercury also is a natural businessman. So this Mercury 11th house is excellent for entrepreneurship, for anything in the field of business. Also, anything that involves risk-taking, speculation, because Mercury is aspecting directly onto the fifth house of speculation. Mercury sometimes can give fluctuating income because Mercury is a changeable planet and this 11th house is all about your income. But Mercury is very clever in this position, so this will definitely give you an ability to gain and increase in your wealth. Mercury is very good at circulating money through this 11th house. Mercury here can definitely make you clever in any financial field because once again, this 11th house is about gains and 
Mercury is all about your intelligence. So your intelligence goes into money management skills. You can work with other people's money in this position. You can become an excellent accountant, anything in the financial fields. And again, anything in stock market speculation can be seen from this position. Also, because the 11th house is about large groups and gatherings, and Mercury has organizational skills, you can make an excellent planner. You can organize events. You can be very skilled at bringing people together. However, if Mercury is in a challenging position, then sometimes you can find that you are someone who wants to make plans, who wants to organize, who wants to make things happen in this 11th house, but there is some confusion. This is especially true if Mercury is debilitated in the sign of Pisces, that there is a huge focus towards spirituality rather than the mundane side of life. Mercury here also is a position that loves to learn, that loves to develop intelligence because it is aspecting directly onto that fifth house that is all about your learning and intelligence. So this is definitely going to give you a huge interest in wanting to develop your knowledge and skills. However, because Mercury is a changeable planet, sometimes there can be fluctuations in education. There can be a restlessness. There can be changeability, dropping courses. There can be taking breaks and coming back later that can be seen with this position as well. But in general, this does make you highly intelligent and educated, and you're able to apply this intelligence to your money-making skills. Because this 11th house is all about making money and Mercury is a planet of communication, you can make money through any communication field. Anything in writing, blogging, social media, anything in public speaking, teaching, presenting, this is an excellent position. Mercury here can show a lot of change in fluctuation in career. So once again, this is why Mercury does best in entrepreneurship and business rather than in a steady career. Mercury here likes change, likes flexibility. And so you can find that sometimes you are changing and switching in your career and finding new ways of making income. This is definitely a position where Mercury can have multiple sources of income. This can make you multi-talented and you can find yourself creating new opportunities for yourself. Mercury here gives you a huge skill to learn quickly and to apply those skills to any profession. And since the fifth house is also about children, you love to communicate with children. So this can give you an excellent connection with your children where you can gain a lot of happiness through them. This can also get you involved in any career field that deals with children as well. Again, you can make an excellent teacher, lecturer, instructor with this position. Mercury here can also make you someone who's very entertaining because Mercury is a planet of comedy. It's a planet of cleverness, of charm, of communication ability. So you can use this through your creativity as that fifth house is all about creative expression. So you can be a comedian with this position. You can have a natural skill for entertaining other people. This definitely gives you a very clever way of using your creative abilities. And this can also be seen, especially in writing, that you can make an excellent creative storyteller. 